What's going on everybody? Welcome back or to the channel. I'm Mike, living with 3M, there's Zeus. And today what we're gonna do is show you guys how to put that, I call it a third brake light, but not the cab light up there, the uh, tailgate light on trucks. Show you guys how to put that on and hardwire it in. We're gonna install the third brake light or tailgate light, I guess you would call it, not the cab light, but the one under the tailgate. And you're gonna need something like this on a lot of these newer trucks, and I'll explain why. All right, guys, you come around here to the back of the tailgate, and you look up under there where you're gonna have to mount this strip, and you notice that black part right there. Well, I'll get up under there closer and show you that's just an added piece on some of the newer trucks and we're going to have to remove that so that that strip will go all the way across here without hitting that. That's the reason for the extension. like that got some dirt on it yeah that will allow us to run our light bar all the way across so all right so you have your instructions in the box. They also give you this plug that you can plug in to right here, the four pin adapter. But we're not gonna do that because on the Fords, I'm not sure about other brands, but on the Fords, that comes into play. It gives issues with the backup camera and the sensors. So it thinks there's a trailer connected and we're not gonna we're not gonna use that. So I'm gonna actually cut those off and we're gonna direct connect them into the tail light, the brake light wires, turn signal wires, that sort of thing. So here is the uh, here's the pack. And th there's different types of lights you guys can get. I'll go ahead and tell you that there's some that are a hard strip and that makes it a lot easier to install because the ones like this if you do not get them straight once you un unwind them if you do not get them straight then when somebody pulls up behind you and your lights on you got the little snake or the roller coaster look or it might be higher on this end lower on that end you definitely want to take your time and see see how this is rolled up it's not we're gonna have to heat this up we're gonna have to leave it laying out in the sun we're gonna warm it up because that's gonna be really tough in its current state to get to in a straight line so we, we want to measure remeasure do a lot of uh, calculations on it make sure that it's going to be straight Okay guys, next step is to take that light strip. Like I said, we're gonna unravel it. It's gonna wanna fold back up or curl back up. So we're gonna take it in the house where it's warmer or in your shop, stretch it out, maybe set a few things on it that are light, uh, nothing heavy, cause you don't wanna crack the LEDs, but get it laid out. And I found out one of the good things that you can use that is safe as a hairdryer. Take that hairdryer and just warm it up. Don't hold it in one space too close, too long, or, you know, it could melt something. But that's what I did. And let's move to the next clip. I'll show you. I've already got it on the truck. I couldn't hold the phone or the camera and measure and everything. And at that point, I didn't have my tripod with me. So you'll see it is on the truck, but I'll explain the measurements. All right, so what we're gonna do is when we mount this, 
we're going to first take alcohol and on a rag and we're going to wipe that. And then you're going to take what I've already done and measure from this body line over to where you want it. And you want to be sure you measure from your first set of lights, not really the end of this because this might not be the same length in here. So you, you want this light to be so many inches from this as it is over here for this. And the reason being is you don't want it too far to the left or the right. It's best probably if you don't have a um, very steady hand, then you may want to get you may want to get a friend to help you and he can stand on one side with it and take an eight millimeter and we're gonna remove these two bolts on the inside of the tail lamp and you can tap into the right or the left for the parking lights. So you're gonna see that on this connector here, I have gotten another connector to where I do not have to cut the wires on the main harness of the MIG tuning light. So I've got these extra wires. The red wire dangling is the reverse wire, the backup light wire. But these three, four, right here, we're gonna tie into the factory plug. Well, we're gonna tie two into this side. We're gonna tie parking lights and brake light and our turn signal, so three. And then for the other turn signal, we'll have to tap into the other light, so left and right. I'll go ahead and tell you it's a good thing to go ahead and buy you some of these assorted sizes of the quick splice connectors. And these quick splice connectors prevent us from having to cut your factory wire, then butt connect them, and it just creates a mess and a lot of opportunity for corrosion and bad connections for your factory wiring thereafter. So these things actually just splice right in here and I'll show you how we do that. All right, and I've run these up through here. You'll see I'm pulling them up through into this area because anything outside, you gotta put your tail light back on. So we're coming up in here to connect, make our connections right here. All right, so we're gonna connect the white to our black with the yellow stripe. That is a ground on the 2018 Raptors. So black with yellow to white. All right, next is gonna be yellow from the MIG tuning light to our gray with orange stripe. That is our left or driver side turn signal wire. Third connection is going to be the brown wire of the MIG tuning assembly to the blue with gray stripe on the factory harness. And that is the parking lights. That when you turn your parking lights on, the running light will light up. Not as bright as the brake light, but it will light up. Now your final connection on this side is going to be red from the mic tuning cluster to green with a brown stripe that's going to be your reverse lights so when you back up you put it in reverse it's going to turn completely white all right so got red yellow white and brown connected four connections to this driver side lamp assembly 
Now I've ran the green wire from the MIC tuning back down here and we're going over to the passenger side turn signal and tap in there. That'll be the only connection on that side. Everything else is connected on the driver. So I'm gonna tell y'all, you can pick one of these up at the auto parts store. We call it a crow's foot. You push the little button and then it comes out like a crow's foot and then retracts. That's one of the best tools for fishing wire, like down through here or through here. This is where we're gonna go. All right, got my wire run up through here. This is actually a green wire. I just extended it with some wire that I had. The green wire from the MIC tuning kit, and that is the passenger turn signal. And it says, for what I've done, I've looked on Google to find all my wire codes for the Fords. So a blue with a orange stripe yes blue with orange it almost looked pink but it's orange blue with orange that's going to be our turn signal all right put your foot on the brake all right let your foot off the brake yeah you can see it's different it's a lot brighter all right put your foot on the brake put it in reverse That's awesome. Yeah. All right, put it in park. Left turn signal. Right turn signal. All right, cool. There we go. please head over to my channel page and check it out. Got a long list of how to's, DIYs, something you guys might be interested in when it comes to cars and trucks. So with that being said, give me that thumbs up, subscribe, turn that bell notification black and check me out in the next video because this video is a wrap. Later.